celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. Two American scholars have arrived in Nigeria to mentor Nigerian students on turning brain drain to bring in capacity building and facilitating research collaboration between Nigerian and American institutions. Osho State University Oshogowai playing host to representatives of the Carnegie African Diaspora Program revealed that the partnership will help stop mass emigration of Nigerians and in turn improve global relevance of African institutions. The Carnegie African Diaspora Program CADFP was launched in 2014 to improve improve African university research capacity, assist in curriculum development and developing long-term collaborations between universities in Africa, the United States and Canada. Leveraging on its research drive, Ultron State University has won a total sum of $7.2 million in the first half of 2023 to conduct research on several areas of national and global development. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Clement Adeboye, assured that the institution will stop at nothing to transform the calamity of brain drain to opportunity of brain gain for the Africa education system. Adeboye revealed that Professor Olukoye Ogin and John Agbonifo will represent the university to participate in the 7.8 million euro Africa Euro Research Project funded by the European Union to enhance EU and AU relations on mutual interest and economic complementaries. The next thing, Georgia and United States, is to develop what we call the digital humanities. We want people who are in our College of Humanities in the current campus to be able to use the geographic information system, to be able to use the knowledge of digital humanities to build structure that will key into the global visibility of the university system, particularly for Sustate University. So we want our scholars in the Kiri campus to be able to carry out their studies now using application of the geographic information system to do historical GIS and then the use of the GIS in the literary studies and do spatial mapping in the core areas of humanities and cultural studies in our campus. Dr. Consula Tebo from St. Cloud State University, USA, and Dr. Omolola Ologunrisha of the Georgia College of State University, USA, we also anchor the proposed curriculum co-development in digital humanities and geographic information systems as well as global affairs of sustainable development institutions. Um, the purpose of my visit is to give back. That's number one. It's broken down in three folds. Number one is to be able to help with the more curriculum co-development in the area of ethics in sustainable development. And then number two is to be able to mentor students and advise them um, uh, in general academic activities. And then the third one is to be able to assist with research. There are some students that want to do research. They don't know whether they want to branch out and do quantitative research or qualitative research. Uh, I will try to make those distinctions for them. Be able to you know, grab all those skills. You know, we have so many skills like soft skills when you are into digital humanities you have to have those soft skills like being able to analyze interpret and present your you know your history or whatever you have been your research in maps so that's the soft skills that we advise to then then the technical skills will be in the area of you know getting all the knowledge try to find the best software to present your maps because not all software will be good for you know each i mean each research has their own method so being able to identify the real method that will be useful for their research it's what i will advise them to grab and also to think of getting opportunities you know how they can also after their graduate program here and move you know travel out and get other opportunities that 
the fellows of the Carnegie African Diaspora Program, CADFP, are expected to remain in Nigeria for three months. The program will feature workshops and training for graduate students as well as create opportunities to forego new research and scholarly trends. Or Kwayemi Akinyemi, ABN TV News, Ocean State, Nigeria.